warm greetings to one and all. My name is Santra Suresh and I'm studying at Amrita Vidyalayam Palakkar. I'm 18 years old and I come under the senior category. First of all, I would like to convey my sincere gratitude to OSCA International for providing me with this platform to speak on the topic that is of utmost importance in today's world, biodiversity and environmental conservation. Did you know that the trees in the forest can talk and share nutrients using an underground channel built by soil fungi? Did you also know that the fingerprints of koalas are nearly indistinguishable from that of humans? True, that our earth is a miracle. We all know that our ecosystem is a complex interlocking of individual species that have evolved over millions of years. In this complex jigsaw puzzle kind of framework, the loss of any species will result in the collapse of our ecosystem. This is why the conservation of biodiversity and environment is vital. Now, what is biodiversity? It refers to the diversified forms of plants and animals in our planet and also includes microorganisms, coral reefs, rainforests, etc. From my point of view, there are many important functions performed by them. First and the foremost is the ecological stability. All species perform a particular function in our ecosystem. It helps in the water and nutrient cycle. The climate is also regulated by biodiversity. A healthy ecosystem acts as a support of products and services that are essential for the human survival, such as soil fertility, decomposition of waste, purification of air and water, etc. Biodiversity also serves in the production of food, medicines, pharmaceuticals and much more. Food products are the crops, livestock, fisheries. Many wild plant species have been used for medicinal purposes such as morphine and quinine. Researchers indicate that there is a close link between the outbreak of diseases and the degradation of nature. Around 70% of emerging viral diseases have spread from animals to humans. As the global wildlife trade continues and the developmental projects expand deeper into tropical forests, humans are increasing their exposure towards wild animals and also the diseases that they may carry. For example, is this COVID-19 pandemic? All these indicate the essentiality of biodiversity. But let us take a moment and look around this. Keeping aside the technological developments, did we actually accomplish sustainable development? Biodiversity loss is increasing at an alarming rate and it has many consequences, not just for the environment, but also for the humans at the economic and the health level. Let me explain it with the help of an example. The geographical region of the famous Yellowstone National Park initially had wolves inhabiting its plains. For generations, they were hunted till they became extinct in the region. After a while, the population of the deer rose and they started grazing extensively on the shore of the river which made the soil loose. The river began to take a large amount of soil and deposit it in other regions causing flooding in certain areas and at the same time drought in other regions. But with the timely efforts of the biologists, the river returned to its originality. Human activities have already contributed towards the degradation of nature. Another example from my country is the Bhopal industrial disaster of 1984, which contaminated the soil and water as a result of leakage of a toxic gas. I can put forth more examples like the explosion of a nuclear power plant in Chernobyl, which released massive amounts of radioactive materials into the atmosphere. Similarly was the Kuwait oil fires, which lasted for almost 10 months, spewed crude oil into the desert and the Persian Gulf. All these unfortunate events had a major impact on the environment. There are many regions in the world with similar problems, and if we do not do our best to conserve it, we would have to face worse catastrophes. In a nutshell, it is we the citizens who should be responsible for safeguarding our environment to ensure world peace and harmony. There is no time to stand and stare. Let us all join our hands together to save our Mother Earth. Thank you.